Hey guys, so I know I've been promising you for a number of days now that I'm going to start packing for Costa Rica and show you some of the things that I'm bringing with me. Um, this is my first trip to Costa Rica and it's actually my first trip. Hi Gingy, hi baby. Um, it's my first trip that I've actually ever done alone. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm actually really excited. I feel like it's something that I've always wanted to do to travel alone and then you're on your own clock. Like you could do what you want, when you want. And I think it's just going to be a little bit empowering. I'm just going down there with a backpack and a yoga mat um, to do some yoga, to travel around and kind of eat, pray, love style. You know where she goes to find herself. I feel like this whole past year, all I've done is like work on me. Um, and I just really need something that's going to help me find what's next. Like I spent so much time changing my diet, changing my lifestyle, becoming more mindful, getting rid of toxic relationships, getting rid of toxic people, cleaning out my house, renovating my house. Like I've just spent so much time making change, but I still feel like there's something missing. And I don't know, I might find it. I'm, there might not be anything missing, but um, this trip's really just to de-stress, to lay back um, and to just be me and to kind of take that spiritual journey or, you know, see where life takes me. I'm a big, big planner. So this is kind of hard for me to go down there without really a plan. I'm flying into San Jose. I'm staying at a hostel. Um, I think it's called Grundy's Hostel and they are amazing. Um, they, I've emailed them to set up a shuttle just because I'll be getting there at, um, 10 o'clock at night and, um, or 9.30 or whatever their time. I'll be getting there about 9.30 and I just, I don't want to have to deal with like busing or transportation that late at night. So I do have that set up for the first day. Other than that, I don't really have a plan. I'm hoping to go to, um, guys, I might be butchering these names. Like I have no idea. I don't speak Spanish. Um, so I'm going to Car Cartiago, which is the old capital Sydney and has like a healing church there, I guess, where a bunch of miracles have been performed. So I really want to go see that. I'm just going to do a quick trip over there. And then to the head to the Monte Verde rainforest. Um, I think I'll probably spend a day there, then go to La Fortuna and Arnell. I want to do a chocolate and coffee tour while I'm there, um, as well as like zip lining and all the things you see, like explore the waterfalls. I don't know, see some sloths, some monkeys. Who knows? I like I don't know. And then I want to head to um, Tamarindu and like, spend some time on the coast, really doing yoga, surfing, snorkeling, and. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to expect what, at all. Oh, and I do want to end in Manuel Antonio because there's a sloth exhibit and I wouldn't mind seeing some sloths and some turtles. So, um, that's kind of the rough plan. Other than that, like, this is a big deal for me to not have a plan. Like, I don't have a list. Okay, I do have a list. But it's a packing list, so it's what to pack. Um, but other than that, I don't have a plan. But yeah, I'll show you some of the things that I have um, decided to pack for this trip. So this is my backpack. It's um, a 55 liter, I think. I don't even know the brand. I got it off of Amazon. It does me well. Like, I've taken it on a couple trips. Um, it's not the one I took to Europe. The one I took to Europe was my sister's, and it actually had a zipper that let you get into the bottom. Oh, maybe this one does. No, it doesn't. It has a hidden pocket. But hers opened up at the bottom, so you can actually access the stuff at the bottom without taking everything out, which I really, really like. This one doesn't. I mean, it's still great. Like, I, I don't bring that much. Um, so here is my life for two weeks. Not her. She's staying with my friend. She's so cute, though. But anyway, here's my life. So I have three pairs of bathing suit bottoms here. And then I brought quite a few different bathing suit tops because I figure that's what I'll be doing for the most part. There's a couple of different styles there. I think that one's Victoria's Secret. That one's AliExpress. Ardeen, like guys, I'm telling you, I'm real. Like, I'm just a real girl. Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret, like AliExpress. Come on, it was probably like $3 or something like that. H&M, H&M, and those are strapless ones. But I just bought, brought generic black and white bottoms. Um, and then, yes, just some tops there. So I brought three pairs of shorts. I brought two pairs of... Lululemon shorts. Oh, I thought there was something on them. And I brought two pairs of Lululemons, the blue ones and the black ones, and then um, the green ones are a jean style short. I don't have a lot of shorts that fit me right now because I lost some weight, so I only really have the jean ones. I mean, spandex Lululemon ones kind of fit whenever, um, no matter what size you are because they shrink and expand, but my waist is, I guess, much smaller, so that's the only pair that fit me. Um, 
I'm hoping I can stop at like Ardeen or something, grab a cheap pair before I leave. I just don't know if I'll have time or if I'll have anything like it's winter here. Um, here I have some crop tops and some loose fin tank tops. I think I brought four, four or five different ones. So there's a little crochet one. That's actually a romper. I keep t putting it in, taking it back out. I don't know if I'm going to bring it yet. It's a little bit dressier, but I don't know what to expect. And then I have two tank tops. This one is so cute. It says chilling with my omies. So that's my yoga go-to. And here I have a plaid shirt, a white long sleeve shirt, um, and a white and blue striped shirt. Just long sleeve shirts. Not bringing much warm clothes because I'm going to Costa Rica. I still don't know if I'm going to bring a sweatshirt or not. They take up a lot of room, so I try to avoid bringing them when I don't have to. And then I always end up buying them because I need them. So I don't know. Think ahead or just go with the flow. Not sure yet. There are some bras and underwear. I brought my sticky bra because I literally hate wearing a bra. Like, I don't like wearing a bra. I wear, like, sports bras or sticky bras 24-7. If I can get away without wearing a bra, I can get away without wearing a bra. I brought two pairs of leggings. I brought my um, Liquido leggings, which are honestly the best leggings in the world. They feel like you're not wearing pants. You could not ask for better. Love them. And then I just brought a cheap pair of Forever 21 ones. Um, I usually bring those when I travel and then toss them out after because they're, like, $6. Selfie stick. Gotta always have it. I'm actually really bad with them. They're always shaky, but why not try anyway? Extra plastic bags because these usually end up ripping and I like to put the dirty clothes in the plastic bag. And I brought two yoga style tops. So I think that one's a Lulu. That one's probably like Ardeen or something like that. One's black, one's pink. Um, these two are dresses down here. Just tight dresses. They don't take up much room. And then I don't know what this shirt's going to hold, but if I do need something a little bit dressier, they're nice to throw on or over top of a bathing suit they're really nice um then I brought some snacks because I always like to have some food with me when I travel um so I don't I'm not forced to eat sugar or I'm not starving or if there's just things I don't like like I don't eat a lot of breads I don't eat pastas um so I just I bring some snacks with me so I'm not hungry and I'm not spending a ton on food like I try to buy I burnt my tongue earlier so I'm talking a little funny but when I get to places I try to buy I like some veggies so that I have them when I'm there. Um, but yeah, so I have some seaweed snacks there. I think I showed you guys earlier the Tracy Anderson bars. I saw them when I was in the States at Target. Sorry, I kind of got caught up there. Um, the doorbell rang. I'm selling this bar that I had in my basement. Um, it was part of a man cave and uh, I no longer have a man so the bar's got to go too. So anyway, they just came to pick it up. I think I sold it on Kijiji or something like that. Um, or Sarnia's version of Kijiji called Mommy Market. Anyway, so the guys just came to pick it up and it's gone. Um, so back to the bar. So the Tracy Anderson bars, they're supposed to be uh, made with collagen instead of um, whey or anything like that. I bought them at Target when I was in the States the other day. Thought I'd give them a try. Guys, they're not very good. They taste like sand. And sand might be a nice way of putting it. So anyway, they're there for emergencies. Will I be sad if they melt or if I get if they get taken at customs absolutely not um that's why it's so important just to eat real food like we don't need all this excess protein we get enough protein from the foods we eat so anyway um I only use protein bars as my go-to if I'm really hungry and I don't have time to get food or like I said if I'm traveling and you know I'm on a plane with a layover and you're going for like eight hours that way I'm not eating airplane food or anything like that these bars are really really good they're raw wraps so they're they are protein bars to some degree but there's 12 grams they're really low on sugar that this one's actually the highest at five grams the other one I normally get is three grams the other one is peanut butter chocolate um I try to stay away from peanuts when I can just because they're they're more modified than most nuts um and this one's dark chocolate cashew cashew mint Never tried this one, but the bars are really, really good. All very clean products. Like, um, not much in them whatsoever. You can see there. When you get them in the States, they're, like, next to nothing. $1.69, like, really? This would be $7 in Canada. Like, no lie. They're, like, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free. Great, great, great bars. Just made from, um, plants. Uh, I don't think you can see. Spirulina. Or Spirella, guys. I don't know how to say it. Um, anyway, good good bars. Very clean ingredients. Then my Brad's Crunchy Kale Chips. Um, my cute little journal that I just bought. I got it at Staples. I think you can get them anywhere now. It's marble. 
Um, this will be good. I'm going to keep a little diary of my trip. So, um, blank so far, but I'm hoping to fill it up pretty quickly. Then I have uh, just a few products. I'm just bringing my mini straightener. Not much makeup. I'm just going pretty much no makeup the entire time. I have Burt's Bees BB Cream, which is great. has SPF in it. Some waterproof mascara that I'll probably end up just leaving there because it's a cheap one. And um, some powder. Then in here, I just have um, some of my bathroom stuff. So I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart. It has your tooth toothpaste, toothbrush, some goat's milk soap, um, some Tums and Rollies, which I won't use. Nivea face wipes, moisturizing um, body lotion, and your soap and shampoo. So it's just your basics. Um, in here, I have some aloe, I have some argan oil leave-in conditioner, and um, oh, this is, I found this a while ago, and guys, this is the most amazing soap ever. So it's African black soap. It is so good if you have a breakout. Um, so I usually use it with my Clarisonic, but obviously I'm not bringing my Clarisonic when I'm traveling. So yeah, I'm just bringing this bar of soap. It's so, so good. At, um, and it's, I think it's like, I don't know. Here's the info on it. I won't read it to you. You can read it yourself or check it out, but no, really good on skin. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, and then when I travel, I don't use, um, a moisturizer. I just use aloe. It's pure vitamin E anyway, so it's really good on your skin and then it saves some space. Then here's what I'm bringing for the flight. I'm just wearing my Nike hat. This is my go-to travel outfit all the time. My Nike hat, um, white tank top, some yoga leggings. Uh, these are the Capri ones. And my Under Armour black sweater. And just some travel shoes that clearly have seen better days. Um, they They come with me everywhere I go, but they're so darn comfy, so... Um, yeah, that's, that's what I've packed for Costa Rica. So I pack it in Ziploc bags because what you could do with them is once you actually push them down, they compress. So they lose all their air and you can get a lot more in, in a small space when you're traveling. Um, if you guys have ever been to Costa Rica or have any tips, tricks for me or any ideas on what I should pack, should I bring a sweatshirt? Shouldn't I bring a sweatshirt? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Okay. Bye guys.